Well, welcome back to the, this Flip It Friday video series. In a previous video we did, we talked about how to determine a mortgage payment or what the principal ba balance would be of a, of a, a, if you know the monthly payment, the number of years and the interest rate, how to determine what the principal balance would be or the mortgage balance, or how to, if, you're, if you know the first three, how to determine what the monthly payment would be. And basically, as long as you know Three of these four, you can figure out the fourth one. And if you don't remember, I'll go up, cover them again. Principal and P and I stands for principal and interest, or the mortgage payment, the number of payments, the interest rate, and the present value or the mortgage balance. Okay. Well, there's another one that's the F V, the future value. And what would you need to know a future value for? Well, if you're going to put a balloon payment in the mortgage, that would be the future value. Or let's say. Uh, three years down the road, they want to know, well, what's the payoff? What's the current standing balance of the mortgage? Well, if they made, if this was the terms and they made the payments on time every single month, then we could figure out the future value by putting in these items and then calculating that out. So, for example, let's say, let get rid of that, let's say we want to put in a five-year balloon. So we ran these numbers at the 30, 30 years or the 360. Okay, so then what we do is, we would change this to five years or 60 payments. Okay, so five years or 60 payments, we change the number. So we've already got these items calculated out. Now we change that to five, and then rather than hitting present value, so I'm gonna put in five years, in this case, so that's gonna be 60 payments. Now, rather than trying to calculate for the present value, I'm gonna calculate based on all of these in, all this in, information in there, what the future value is going to be and it'll take a second for the calculator to do it okay after five years they still owe 91,000 let me redo this here 91,828 dollars and 73 cents that's up with a five-year balloon okay so five-year balloon payment after five years, making $536 a month times 60 payments, they still owe $91,000. That means they only paid a little over $8,000 in interest in, in five years. Because that's where most of your payments are going to is that. Okay, so that is important because now we, if we need to calculate a, more, a balloon payment. But let's say five years down the road, say, well, what's the balance of the mortgage? Whether it's for a refinance or... Let's say you're getting ready to sell this mortgage, and we'll talk about how to discount it and calculate the yield later on another video. But let's say you needed to uh, sell the mortgage, and they want to know, well, what's the value going to be in five years? Okay, this is how we get to that number. By putting on all of this, using the 30 to come up with the monthly payment, then changing the, month, the number of payments from 360 to 60, and then calculating for the future value. So that's just, I hope you understand that. This is, um, this is all part of the whole time valuation of money calculations. And if you really start to understand this how, and how this works, you can see where the real money is at. It's in the interest payments, and that's the whole time value of money. When you really understand it and start selling properties or you know, start buying and selling using seller financing or private financing, more creative stuff where you're not going to the banks, you can see where the real wealth is and you can see why there's so many mortgage companies out there that really want to be in the mortgage industry because of the amount of money that they can make because of the time value of money and learning how to use a mortgage financial calculator. With that, we'll see you guys back at the next week.